Oh, in this animation, we'll just watch the uh, the masterpiece happen. So I have the uh, <laughs> the control object parented to the circle, and it's following the path of the circle. Of course, I have the circle selected. So each time through, I'm gonna just press S, and it's in dying in, in real time. I should be able to. In fact, I'm gonna press S now. And as soon as it gets back to the beginning, I'm just gonna scale. It's gonna do it again. I'll just scale it up now, just a little bit. Oh, it started it over. So now this is a longer thing. Oh no, it scaled it up. Oh, I probably should have not done that. Let's control Z and let's scale it, but not in X because that's all right. Now let's see what happens when it comes back around. All right, you can see the greens following a larger circle. Well, they're bigger. It's scaling everything because it was parented to the whole thing. Well, so I think you get the idea. Basically, you can create all kinds of effects. You could parent this circle to other circles. And well, I mean, I've spent a lot of time behind a paint canvas for a number of years when I was trying to figure out how to paint. I never really was very good at it, but I did get addicted to it. It's a bad habit. So I put my paintbrushes down for years and I won't touch them again because I dig colors too much. So I just don't spend time doing it. And uh, But just so in case you have time and want to play around and goof with it, maybe this can give you some ideas. All right, well, that's for now. And we'll back to the regular tutorials, starting with the next lesson. And I'll see you then.